What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you rocking with me yet again. If you're new to the channel, my name is Michael. Uh, I am what we used to call a variety streamer. I do a lot of unboxings, a lot of comic books, a lot of pops, uh, collectibles, mystery boxes, that kind of thing. I also do some reselling and flipping and thrifting and all that good stuff. So a little bit of everything on my channel. Appreciate you checking us out. Uh, I've been waiting for this. This is, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. This this box is huge, by the way. Let me just uh, let me see if I can show you. Like he had to Frankenstein this this guy. Um, you might remember this slab right here from uh, I don't know a couple weeks ago. The gentleman that I bought this from has uh, very distinctive posts uh, on uh, Mercari where I got that from, and uh, so when he has a new listing, it stands out to me. I recognize it as being his, and he had listed a mystery box, comic book mystery box. I reached out to him, we had a little conversation. I said, all right, well, let me get one and I'll unbox it on my channel and all that. And then that uh, that prompted, <laughs> this thing is like taped up like Fort Knox. That prompted a conversation uh, between he and I. We, we talked for like four days. Um, just talking about comic books, talking about slabs and reselling and flipping. He had a really kind of interesting story um, about uh, his, uh, background with comic books it was really fun um this is probably gonna be a two-part video because in this box is the mystery box that i ordered but uh in our conversations we also worked out a little trade ski um there's a slab in here and uh, apparently he also threw in uh, a bunch of uh, freebies basically uh some comics that he thinks that uh, that i would be really into which is you know much appreciated so i'll probably split this into two videos um i'm gonna be sending him a much smaller stack um he ended up finding the channel and uh put that down there watching uh, some of the long box videos from like september or october and uh he saw some things come out of there that he actually wanted for his collection nothing of any significant value i think the the most valuable book is the uh, batman mask of the phantasm um i don't know mini book mini comic adaptation whatever that came with the vhs um there was that and then there was like i think a wildcats and basically he was like you know i he's into everything indie anything that's not dc marvel so i went through some of my odds and ends i pulled a bunch of wild storm and top cow and i mean i'll be honest they're basically dollar books but i put together like i don't know 15 16 of them plus the two he wanted and uh i'm gonna send that out to him as uh, as part of the trade just did it on the honor system, you know, best kind of, best kind of, uh, connection to make these days, right? Built on trust and all that good stuff, but super nice guy. I thought I had bought a bunch of slabs from him. And when I was talking to him, I remember saying that, uh, that I had bought two or three, but when I went back and looked, I only have one. And so then I had to go through his listings and I realized that, um, I realized that the others that I, there was a bunch that I was looking at very closely and uh, someone bought them out from under me each time basically. So I really, I'd actually only bought the Lobo one. Um, he goes by Gorilla Goon on Mercari. And I think it's, this is called the Silverback Mystery Box. I, it's, I told him, he, I think he put his, his Instagram stuff uh, in this box. So I'll make sure to link it in the description so you guys can check it out and uh, get his mystery box. I did pick a number. So the boxes are pre-made, and then uh, I don't know if you always get to pick your number or if it's, you know, under normal circumstances, if the number is just assigned. I imagine he probably just sends it out under normal circumstances. Um, he indicated to me that he sells them through Instagram, uh, typically. I know it's kind of a newer box, so, I, you know, I don't know what typically means, but I guess I've got one. This is one. Oh, what does this say? baller bag this bag contains multiple variants as well as two key issues okay so i got one bag with like one two three four issues in it and then the rest of these i think are individually packaged okay let's let's start with the baller bag okay number one we've got hit girl number one uh let's see okay it said a bunch of stuff on the back but I know a bunch of these hit girls are um, are worth a little bit. Uh, 
what is that one I got that Canada Expo variant cover? So I'll put this with that. I think it's in, I think it's number one as well. Number one or number two. I'm kind of hoping the other one's number two because if I have um, two, you know, number one or number two, that's great. Uh, condition wise, I mean, it's it's probably nine eight, maybe nine six. So condition's great. Can't argue with that. Item next, we have kick ass two number two. Uh, yep, same. Probably a 9.6. There's an extra tick on the spine. We have Kick-Ass 2, number 4. I'm not super familiar with the Kick-Ass book, so I don't know the significance of them. What did he say? Uh, multiple variants as well as two key issues. So I imagine that these are the key issues, number 2 and number 4 here. Um... Because this looks like a variant of Hit Girl number one. What was the other one? Is the other one Hit Girl number one? Can't get a hold of it. Yeah. So we got two Hit Girl number ones, different covers. I'm going to put those together. And then we also have Hit Girl number one, another variant, or sorry, number two, another variant. So again, if this goes with. If that um, Canadian Expo one I have is also number two, that'd be really cool. And we have Hit Girl. Oh, another Hit Girl number one. They must have put like 11 copies of uh, number one. It's probably 9.8. 9.8 9.8 That's I'm always, It's always tough for me to tell the difference between a 9.8 and a 9.6. Uh, we've covered that in some of our Spider-Man booth boxes, how I can't tell the difference. Okay, this one says, first print sold out everywhere on release day. Had three printings. A little card on the back you put on here. What's it say under that? Uh, book had to go to three print. Oh, oh, I see. The book went to three printings. It says the same thing. Okay. Uh, so this is the, I don't know, I guess the first book of the mystery box. I'm not sure if they all have baller bags or not. He'll, I think he'll be able to uh, clarify in the comments if anybody has any questions. All right, number one. Oh, sweet. Did this really go to three printings? I have this book. Is this book worth something? I need to check. I haven't, um, my, my Green Lantern long box, I've got a, a Green Arrow long box and a Green Lantern long box. And those are the two of three that we did not go through, <clears throat> excuse me, that we did not go through um, uh, when we were doing the uh, long box unboxings. I have that entire Jeff Johns run up until rebirth and i finally tapped out at rebirth all right next book Ooh, annual ghost rider this is a four dollar so this is probably what does it say on the back first telling of the city san venganza or venganza i don't know not i'm not i'm not up to date on ghost rider i haven't read ghost rider in Probably 20 years, but it's a cool cover, though. It's definitely been um, handled. You know, it's got a shelf, uh, you know, newsstand handling kind of damage. That's all right. Uh, this is first appearance of Venom outside of Amazing Spider-Man. Ooh. Quasar number six. This has got to be from, yeah, 89. Featuring the Watcher, Living Laser, the Red Ghost, and, oh, yes, Venom. That's kind of cool. I'm down with that. I like these older books. It's in good condition, too. It's in really good condition. Probably a 9.2, I would say. Maybe a 9.4. Yeah, probably a 9.4. Yeah, that's really nice. I dig that. All right, next. Bam. <laughs> Wait, what? Deathstroke <laughs> Yogi Bear. Bonus story, part one of four with Secret Squirrel. Uh, I saw that they did a bunch of these. Uh, it says very hard to find. I've never seen this before, so I believe that it's hard to find. Um, I did see the um, that future Scooby-Doo or whatever that they did. Um, I've never seen this before. We'll, we'll have to look all these up. We'll have to look them all up. And um, I don't know. We'll 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 get we'll do a value assessment just like we do with the other boxes, just to, just to be consistent. Um, 
I was more. I bought this box more out of curiosity than anything else. But all right, next book. What are we up to here? One, two, three, four books out of outside the box, not including the the hit girl books. So next book. This is number six. Oh, that's fun. Maximum Clonage Omega, the book that almost buried Marvel. <laughs> Uh, this is so 90s. It's all. It, I don't even know if you'll be able to see, but this is a all foil chromium. We used to call it cover. <laughs> that is so 90s. I love it. I'm down with that. Um, there's pretty good crease across it, but honestly, that was so common with these covers. They had no resistance whatsoever. Oh, there's a Scarlet. Sp oh, of course there is. It's Maximum Clonage. I'm all like, there's Scarlet Spider down there, but yeah, obviously that was the plot line. Damn, this book was five bucks, man. This this was five dollars at a time when comics were like a buck a piece, maybe a buck twenty-five. This was five dollars. That's insane. Minimum wage was probably five twenty-five at the time. All right, this is less than two thousand printed, very very scarcely distributed. Clive Barker's Hellraiser. Dark Holiday Special. Merry Xmas. It's in brilliant condition. I've never heard of this. I mean, I know Hellraiser, obviously. And it's from Epic Comics. That might be a pretty big hit. I don't know. That might be a pretty big hit. If there were less than 2,000 printed, but you've got comic book collectors, Hellraiser collectors, horror collectors in general, Clive Barker fans. That, that might be a big hit. And it looks very, it looks very in, 90s indie. Maybe even 80s indie. I would say 90s, but it's got that art style to it. That might be something. That's pretty cool. Okay, this says Rare Life Field Batman Art. Batman and Dove, number six. Hawk, it's from Hawk and Dove, number six. I might have this book too. I don't remember. I remember checking out Hawk and Dove when it first came out, but I don't remember if I kept reading it. I was reading a lot of books during the New 52 it's a little beat up not not really but i mean it's got like i said newsstand damage on the spine but you know what are you gonna do it's pretty cool that's pretty cool uh oh and i guess that's it so all right well let's um let's pause for a minute i'll look these up and um we'll see how we did i mean this is a stack of books i think it's 35 dollars I want to say it was $35. Um, I got a little bit of a homie hookup on it. I, I paid for my box and I chose my box number. So it's all legit. But I did get a little bit of a homie hookup. Um, just, you know, from doing business with him before and talking to him and all that stuff. So, um, but I think it's $35 normally. That's a lot of books for $35, bucks, honestly. If you just want books, if you just want like a stack, that's pretty legit. All right, let's pause for a second. We'll be right back. So that took a, a minute, to be honest. It took me a good, um, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know where my phone is. Good 10, 15 minutes to uh, find all those values. Some of these books were hard to uh, track down. Oh, there's my phone. Um, let's start with Hawk and Dove. Um, basically, this is cover price, if that, two bucks. Uh, more often than not, there is a lot of them listed, not a lot of them sold. Um, it is cool art. And it's, you know, it's a cool life field cover. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but as far as there being demand for it, there's not a lot. I think a lot of that just has to do with DC at that time. They were pumping out way too many books and they were relaunching way too many times. That's why I stopped reading them. So that's all right. So two bucks on that. Clive Barker's Hellraiser. This one I was kind of surprised by. Um, it sells on eBay fairly frequently and only goes for about five bucks. Uh, that really surprised me. I, uh, I don't know if, uh, if maybe, you know, after it was distributed the first time, if somebody found like a, a box of them in a warehouse somewhere and they got out, that happens a lot with stuff that's like scarcely available. We see it with pops all the time. You have pops that practically get vaulted and then they re-release them, you know? Um, in fact, I just got an email from Funco the other day that, uh, they, found a bunch of store exclusives 
that either, I don't know, either they were sitting in a warehouse that never got distributed or they got sent back, which seems unlikely, but possible, um, sent back from the stores. Uh, and they're going to sell them on funcoshop.com. So, um, you know, that happens and, and it drives the price down. So, uh, Spidey Maximum Clonage, about three bucks. This Deathstroke Yogi Bear book had sales. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. This cover had no sales. There was a Virgin variant or a trade dress variant. I can't remember now. Uh, that was worth about 10 bucks. Um, but this one was selling for anywhere between $1 and $4. I went ahead and gave it a value of $3 uh, just for the sake of argument. I think it's super cool though. I think it's fun. I mean, that's just, that that's freaking LSD insanity, Deathstroke and Yogi Bear. You know, this is one of those, this is one of those things that's not worth anything right now, but this might go up. Tyler Kirkham, uh, his popularity is, uh, is growing fairly quickly, uh, as of late. So this might be a hidden gem here in the next, um, you know, couple months. You never know. I had, um, I had, an, I think we talked about it on here a couple months ago. I think I did a, uh, uh, recently sold video on it, but I sold a uh, Batman Superman annual number four, I think it was, and it it featured Batman Beyond and the current version of the Kingdom Come Superman, old Superman, and it was an art germ cover, and it was going by itself for forty dollars, and I had it, I didn't know that, I that had to have shot up recently in the time that this window happened but i had it the whole run that i owned of that batman superman plus annual one and annual four and i only bought annual four because it was batman beyond and kingdom come superman both of whom i'm a big fan of i had that whole run listed for fifty dollars i still have that whole run listed for fifty dollars it has not sold but when i i forget how i even figured it out i don't know why i have this in my hand I, I don't know how I figured it out, but I ended up yanking number four out and listing it separately. And I think I sold it for like $32 or something. I got an offer on it and took it because I didn't care. I'm like, let's go. Let's move it. Uh, and so you never know when it comes to values and things like that and how those things can change when somebody gets hot. So um, that this Deathstroke Yogi Bear might be you know something in the near future as he, as he becomes more popular. Uh, Quasar. Nothing big, nothing major here. Two bucks. Most of these books were were fairly cover price. Just a, you know, full disclosure. <clears throat> Ghost Rider Annual. Oh, this cover is so cool. I'm surprised that uh, it wasn't worth more. But this was also two dollars. There was a lot of sales on this one. Two bucks. This Green Lantern number one was kind of interesting because. Um, there were like there were actually I found more than three variants on this and reprints on this, uh, and some of the reprints were actually going for like ten bucks, uh, but the original here was only going for about five, uh, and that was kind of generous because there were a couple of weird one offs where somebody put it up for auction and it sold for ninety nine cents, uh, and all these prices are not including shipping. I, I took out shipping on all of them just to keep it consistent, um, so. Yeah, I'm not getting rich off that one. Getting a notification here from eBay. Oh no, okay. I got a couple auctions that I'm watching. <laughs> Actually, that I have bids on, but I've been outbid. I'm kind of they're about to expire here, and I might jump in and grab them. Um, these two kick-ass books. These covers were hard. All of these books were hard to find on uh, on eBay. Not a lot of sales. Uh, basically, these were three to five dollars. Uh, the ones that did sell. Um, and actually I think this one, if I remember correctly, didn't have any cells. So I just took an average of, um, the asking prices, which is shaky at best, but yeah, uh, about three to $5. And I, I did total all this up and I gave them a value of $3 for the sake of, of the total. These hit girl books were kind of the same thing. Uh, let's see this, this one I could not find. Oh, no, I did find it eventually. I had a really hard time finding this cover. Really, really hard time. And fortunately, Rob Doyle's signature is very easily identifiable and readable, so it made it easier to uh, finally figure out how to search for it. Um, but basically, these are all going for 2 to $3. They did like 800 covers of this Hit Girl number one. Uh, Hit Girl number two was going for 3 to $5. I gave it a value of $3 for the sake of the total. 
The um, Canada Expo one I have is actually Hit Girl number seven. It showed up in my search. So all together, we have a grand total of $38. Uh, again, I think the uh, asking price is $35 on this box. You do have a chance to hit a grail. Uh, and they are, their grails are graded. Uh, I don't know how many boxes are in the run. I picked my numbers, so there must be a limited run per. In fact, let me uh, pause real quick. Okay, so uh, this one on sale March 18th. Uh, there were only 25 boxes available. Uh, yeah, boxes are $35 each shipped. That includes shipping. Uh, and it's uh, Silverback Graphics. Uh, on Instagram, and I will put the link down in the description on that. Uh, and oh, and one box upgraded to the baller box. Oh, okay. So my hit girl was the baller box upgrade. I got the baller bag. So I did hit uh, a bit of an upgrade that accounted for five, let's say $10 of the value on that. Um, so uh, like I said, I had a great conversation with the guy, um, Silverback. I don't know if he, I, I have his name here, but I don't know that he puts that out there. So, uh, Gorilla Goon on Mercari, great guy to do business with. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, really nice guy, really fun. Um, as far as value, you know, honest opinion, I like the box. I like the variety in the box. Um, I like the mix of old and new. Um... We got some cool stuff, honestly. Like I, you know, this um, again, this this Yogi Bear Deathstroke book is just it, it's such insanity that I, I get, the more I look at it, the more I get a kick out of it. So I, I really like that book. Just it's just it's 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 just ridiculous. It's insanity. Um, so you know, we've talked about it on the um, on the. Uh, What's that place called? Spider-Man booth unboxings. You know, for me, a lot of it really comes down to cool factor. A lot of the times I did like getting these older books as well. And, you know, as a child of the 80s and 90s, these kinds of just batshit insane marketing gimmicks, um, they they speak to me. Yeah, no, uh, honestly, I mean, it's fun. It's it's a cheap box. Uh, you do have a chance at a couple grails. This is this is volume one. This is volume one of the box. So he's just starting these. Um, I would expect that, uh, as he gets a little momentum that we might see, uh, uh, maybe a little bit higher value, uh, dollar value, so to speak from the box. That's just me speculating. Uh, but I've seen what he's got for sale. I, I know what books, some of the books he has in his possession. So I could see that happening as he gets a little momentum behind him. I think this was kind of a trial run. Um, but like I said, uh, you get I mean, you're, you're basically getting a, a comic book grab bag, right? What, what did we pay? We paid average $3 a piece, ba basically cover price. Actually, not anymore. What are comic books now? They're like $4 a piece, right? $4 or $5. Um, I haven't bought them regularly in a few years. They were still holding the line at $2.99, if you recall that uh, marketing gimmick. Um, but no, you do. You get, you, get, you get your money's worth. You get exactly what you paid for, at least, from what I can tell. Um, and you do have a, a chance at some good boxes. And I think again, that as, as he grows, um, there, maybe he'll be able to kind of work out some of the, the kinks as far as what's going in there. Uh, hopefully this feedback helps. I'm assuming he's going to do a volume two. I will definitely be up for another box. We'll give it another go. Um, I'll probably make my decision based on what the, um, grails are. I do really like that Phoenix. I've actually got a watch on that Phoenix I got to get a new camera. Can I turn this? No, I can't. I got a, a watch on that Phoenix graded uh, that somebody else is selling right now. I'm, I'm really tempted to grab it, but they want like 70 bucks for it. I don't know about that one. Um, so, all right, that's the box. Like I said, links down in the description to his Instagram, and I'll try to link to his Macari store as well. Uh, so you guys can check out that box, see if you want to get it. And also check out all the other stuff he has for sale. He does have uh, a lot of really good books available, uh, individually and his prices are really good. Like I said, I got, um, I got, you know, Lobo 9.8 for 20 bucks shipped, even though I got to get it re-slabbed. We already talked about that, but still 20 bucks shipped. It's a confirmed 9.8. Cool ass cover. I don't even know if it's worth 20 bucks, but it's cool as shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
That's what I care about. Is it cool as shit? So that's the box. Appreciate you guys. Come back uh, on Thursday and you'll see the other stuff that I got in our little trade ski. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Did I forget anything? No, that's it. We'll see you next time. Thank you.